Now to the latest on the Russian invasion of Ukraine, where Russian forces keep targeting large cities, and you can see it caused a huge fire here at this building in Kyiv last night. At least one person died there. And in the western city of Lviv, you can see smoke in the sky from explosions. It appears that there is no end in sight to the violence. The U.S. is looking for solutions now. Channel 3's Caitlin Francis is back now with more on what comes next. All right, guys. Yes, that's exactly right. So this morning, President Biden will be speaking by phone with his Chinese counterpart, Xi Jinping, with the and the White House says the president will be calling on Beijing to renounce the Russian invasion. After more than three weeks of fighting, Russia's ground forces appear to have halted their advance, but its aerial campaign has intensified. Bombs and missiles continue to rain down on urban areas throughout Ukraine. This video just out of the western city of Lviv, where it's believed an area just outside the airport, has been hit. The UN has confirmed nearly 2,000 civilian deaths to date, though the real number is thought to be much higher. More than 3 million people have already fled the country. Vladimir Putin has launched an unconscionable war against Ukraine against the very pillars of international peace and stability. President Biden is scheduled to speak with Chinese President Xi Jinping this morning. The White House says the president will urge Xi to refuse the Kremlin's request for military aid. Our concerns about uh, China assisting in any way uh, Russia as they invade a foreign country uh, is of, of significant concern and would uh, the response to that would be uh, consequences. Secretary of State Antony Blinken says Beijing should be working to convince Vladimir Putin to call off the invasion. Instead, it appears that China is moving in the opposite direction by refusing to condemn this aggression while seeking to portray itself as a neutral arbiter. Blinken said he believes Russia has committed war crimes in Ukraine. He also warned that as Putin becomes desperate, he may deploy chemical weapons as part of a false flag operation aimed at justifying an escalation of attacks. Secretary Blinken also confirmed the death of a U.S. citizen in Ukraine. And while the State Department has not identified the person killed, the family of the native Jim Hall posted on Facebook that he was gunned down while waiting on a bread line with several other people. We're going to have more details on that attack coming up in our next half hour. I'm Caitlin Francis, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.